Hi everyone and welcome to Studio of the Sword. My name is Lina and in today's video I want to show you how I made a faux abalone shell. So let's get started. And a little announcement, I finally started my Patreon page. And if you would like to subscribe, you can find the link down in the description below. And as usual, if you want to support me and my channel, don't forget to hit the red button, like this video, leave a comment down below, and let's keep going. Here's everything that I'm going to be using in today's tutorial. Here's some reference that I was inspired by, and that's going to be the color palette I'm going to be trying to achieve. I'm going to be using three different tones of the blue color, and I'm going to be mixing it with white clay. So what I'm doing first, I'm chopping all of the colors and forming a little piles. After that, I am putting back together all of those pieces and those piles and start mixing the colors. And now this thicker pieces I'm running through the pasta machine, but I don't mix the colors all the way through. I want them to have those natural stains on them. And here's how they look. And now I'm doing the same procedure with the gray and blue shimmery clay. I'm chopping it first then mixing those chopped pieces together and running on a pasta machine and again not all the way through and here's how it looks like here's i'm using that nail transfer foil and as you can see it's not working really well but not because of the not because of the clay but because this particular one is very hard to transfer on the clay it needs some more like of a sticky surface after that i start covering each of that piece of clay with silver foil And after that, I'm using two colors of alcohol inks, blue and purple, and I'm adding those on top of the silver foil. After that, I'm letting it dry for a little bit. Usually it takes 10 to 15 minutes. If you don't want to wait, you always can use the hair dryer. While the alcohol inks were drying, I also flattened translucent polymer clay. And now I'm attaching black and translucent polymer clay together and running it through the pasta machine. The thickness of translucent and black clay is around one, one and a half millimeters. After that, I start ripping pieces off that translucent and black piece and applying on top of my colored pieces. And as you can see, I'm trying to do it very chaotic, don't have a certain pattern just because I'm going for more of like a natural look at the end. So I don't, I don't want to have any symmetrical or anything like that. After I apply the black and translucent clay, I'm going and covering those pieces again with the silver foil.
And after that, I start attaching all those pieces on top of each other. That blue uh, shimmery color is pretty large. As you can see, I'm dividing this in half and attaching in between other layers. And in the end, if I have any extra pieces that I've left out, I'm just attaching them at the bottom and start rolling the piece with the rolling pin and pushing all of the colors together but not too much. We don't want to flatten it too much. After the colors are pushed together, I'm just slicing that piece in half and attaching on top of each other. Rolling it again a little bit. And here you can see that I tried to see how the writing looks like. I decided that it's not enough of the layers that are visible, so I decided to go again. So I'm just putting, applying this little piece back, rolling, dividing the clay in half, and attaching two parts together. And again, using the flexible knife, I'm checking if I like how the pattern looks on the inside. And this time I did like it, so I start slicing off little pieces. And as I'm going down, the slab of the clay is getting thinner and at the end I left like 2-3 millimeters of the slab and I'm gonna use it later on. Okay. 
For now, I start attaching those sliced pieces together and forming a slab of clay. After that, I'm just flattening it with the rolling pin and cutting out the shapes. Also before cutting out the shapes, I'm adding on the nail holographic powder on top of the clay. It's gonna give me a more of that holographic shine in the end. And here is that slab that left over. I'm just stretching it out, flattening it. On top of it, I'm adding white mica powder. And using that, I'm also doing some hollow beads. For that, I'm using the cutter, applying the slab with the pattern on the cutter, then stretching it out with my finger and applying it on top of another piece of clay. And cutting out the shapes. And here's how it looks like. After that, I'm baking all of the pieces and here's how everything looks after baking. All of the flat pieces I'm sanding and after that adding on the epoxy resin and let it cure for 24 hours. And here's my final result. I think it came out pretty nice. It's not a 100% match with a, a real abalone, but I think it's pretty close. I still can play around and figure out the way to make it look even more natural. And this is it for today guys, thank you so much for watching, if you like this tutorial don't forget to share it in the comments down below and we see each other in the next video.